Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang ituro sa inyo ang isang arithmetic sequence problem na hango sa 2019 Division Orals ng Metrobank MTAP DepEd Math Challenge. Okay? So, ready ka na? Great. So, let's have this uh, question. What is the first term of the sequence if the fourth term is 59 and the tenth term is 101? So, what am I going to do here is going to create 10 boxes wherein the first box is the first term, the second box is the second term, the third box is the third term, and so on and so forth. So, inside the fourth box, that would be uh, 59. Inside the last box will be 101. So, in some books, ganito yung gagawin nila. 101 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times d. Tapos, 59 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of 4 minus 1 times d. And then, solve it simultaneously. So, systems of linear equation. Pero dito sa video na to, hindi ko siya gagawin. So, I'm going to somehow do a solution na mas madali siya compared dito. Okay? So, kasi sa, sa discussion kasi, uh, hanggat maaari is okay naman yung nagre-recall tayo. Pero dahil nga kunyari, 40 minutes lang sa klase or minsan pa nga, less than 30 minutes na lang yung nasa oras natin. So, maganda, tuloy-tuloy uh, yung discussion natin. So, ang gagawin ko niyan dito is, I'm going to let 59 be the first term and 101 be the seventh term. So, using this one, I'm going to solve for the value of D. After solving for the value of D, isa-subtract na lang natin yun sa 59 to get the third term and then continue it to get the second term and then continue it to get our answer which is the first term. Okay? So, in this case, we're going to use is the arithmetic sequence equation. So, we're in that will be a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Na kung saan, yung n natin dito is 7. Clear tayo dun, ha? So, a sub n, that would be a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of 7 minus 1 times d. Next, this will be, our a sub 7 will be 101 is equal to 59 plus 6D. Solving for the value of D, so using APE, so we will add negative 59 on both sides. So, dun sa left side natin, that will be 101 minus 59, that will be equal to 42. Sa right side naman, yung, dalawa, yung 59 minus 59, that would be 0. So, matitira na lang dun is 6D. Next, Solving for the value of D, MPE, Multiplication Property of Equality. So, we're going to multiply 1 over 6 on both equation. So, in this case, we will get D is equal to? Okay, correct. That would be 7. Now, how are we going to identify the third term, the second term, and the first term? Kagaya lang sabi ko kanina, isa-subtract na lang natin ito starting from the fourth term. So, that would be 59 minus 7 and we will get Okay, 52. Aning next? Minus 7 ulit tayo para makuha yung second term. And we will get 45. And minus 7 ulit tayo para makuha na natin yung final answer which is yung first term and that is 38. Now, meron pa akong pangalawang solution dito na kung saan pwede siyang gamitin for mental math. Okay? So, di ba? Doon sa problem natin, given yung 4th term, given yung 10th term, pinapahanap yung 1st term, yung 4th term natin is equal to 59, yung 10th term natin is given yung 101. So, by observation, makikita natin na yung 1st term, yung 4th term, at saka yung 10th term, may relationship sila. And that is, parang they are, uh, actually, they are creating a sequence. 1st term, 4th term, Blank, 10th term. So, ibig sabihin dito, 7th term yung nasa gitna. So, we have 1st, 4th, 7th, and 10th. So, focus tayo dun sa 4th, sa 7th, at saka sa 10th term. So, we will notice that the 7th term is actually the arithmetic mean of the 4th term and the 10th term. Yan. So, madali ito. Medyo napapadali na ngayon tayo dito. So, since arithmetic mean yung 7th term, we can now solve for the 7th term. 
So how to do that one? We are going to add the fourth term and the tenth term. So that would be 59 plus 101 and that would be 160. For us to get the seventh term, we divide it by 2. So 160 divided by 2 and we will get 80. My seventh term na tayo, ang hinahanap na lang natin is yung first term. Focusing on the first three. Yung first, yung fourth, at saka yung seventh, malalaman natin or makikita natin na yung fourth term is actually the arithmetic mean of the first term and the seventh term. So, dahil alam natin na arithmetic mean yung fourth term ng first at saka seventh, makukuha na natin yung first term. How? So, i-reverse lang natin yung ginawa natin kanina. So, instead of adding the two, yung dalawang nasa dulo, and then divided by two to get the middle term, ang gagawin naman natin dito ngayon is, yung middle term, or yung fourth term, or yung arithmetic mean, double natin and then subtract it by one of the terms. Okay? So, in this case, our fourth term, double it and then subtract it by the seventh term. So, anong fourth term natin? That is 59. Double it, we will get 118. Subtract it by, correct, 80. So, 118 minus 80, and that will be, correct, 38. So, kaya siya. So, sana uh, may natutunan ka dito sa video na to. And with that, maraming salamat. Magandang buhay.